This is Charlie with Anything For Adventures. And today, we're gonna to be tying a square knot. Now what I've got is a larger diameter rope than 550 cord. So that will help you see how to tie the rope. You take the same diameter of rope and you tie it. What you wanna do is, if you're right-handed, you do right over left then left over right, or if you're left-handed, you can do left over right, right over left. Since I'm right-handed, I'm gonna do right over left. You crisscross, you go around, and then you bring it back across, and this time you do left over right. The Boy Scouts call this the first aid knot because you can take a bandana and put it around a wound, and then you tie this over the wound to keep the bandage in place. It's also called a joining knot, a reef knot, um, and it's, like I said, it's used for tying two ropes together of the same diameter. You can also do it by making a bite with your rope. The rabbit comes out of the hole goes around the tree, comes back around, and goes back down. And it makes the same knot. Now, you can finish this off by putting an overhand knot on each side to keep it from slipping. 550 cord works a lot better, but this rope, like I said, was for demonstration. A tout line hitch. This might be a little harder than I thought. outline you go around and you cross over the rope and you bring it around twice this is the way I think of it two times on the inside one time on the outside and you dress it up it's real important to dress it up it makes things look a lot better And once you've went around twice on the inside, cross over these two pieces of rope. And if you know what a clove hitch looks like, that's what you're kind of looking for. It's not exactly a clove hitch, but two on the inside, one on the outside. Now what this is for, is this is your anchor point let's say it's a tent peg and you've got some slack in your guy line what you can do is you can pull the slack out of it or you can give as much slack as you want all you have to do is just pull tightens it up releases it Let's see if I can't show you again. Use it on a tree. Use it for tent stakes. Go around your anchor. 
and you cross over your rope. Go around one time, dress it up as you go, then you go around a second time. Let it hang, cross over these two ropes. Prusik hitch. What I do is I lay a little bit of the the middle section over like this and I bring the rope through the loop. Now you really really have to dress this up as you go. And then you bring it through again on the inside of the rope. And then you tighten it up. This is what it should look like. And if you tighten this up, it will slide. Or it won't slide, I'm sorry. I'm trying to do two things at once. It won't slide very well. And, and all you have to do is pull this down, take a little tension off the rope, and then you can move it wherever you want. Now what this is good for is if you take 550 cord, when you put your ridge line up, you tie a couple pieces of 550 cord, you put your Prusik on your ridge line, and tie to the very ends grommets of your shelter, and then you just take the slack out. That's the Prusik knot. This is for the tripod lashings. This is my second attempt. I run out of string and it's really hard to see how you do this. Now, some people like to use a timber hitch on each side. If you start on this side, you end on this side when you do this. Or vice versa, if you start on this side, you end on this side. Some people use a timber hitch when they start their, their knot. I like to use a clove hitch. And how you do a clove hitch is, since I'm right-handed, I go from left to right the first time. Around. And when I come back around, I crisscross it, make an X. And what you do, you take and stick this under the X. That is a clove hitch. Or, another way to do it, a little easier way, is make an overhand loop, and make a second overhand loop. You take the second overhand loop and put behind the first overhand loop. And that will give you your clove hitch. Now, last time I almost run out of string, so I'm gonna shorten this end right here. Now all you have to do 
is just weave it around. Some people go three times, some people go six. I like to go between four and six, but for this, since I don't have as much 550 cord as I like, I'm gonna do it about three times just for demonstration purposes. And you just weave it around and dress it up as you go. I said I'm firing my cameraman for not showing up. I think we can go one more round. Now this is about three times. If I go another, I don't think I'm gonna have enough 550 cord. So then what you do is you frap it. And I like to go around about twice. And this tightens up everything. Now what you do is you put a clove hitch on this side, right here. And this is actually too long, but if it was cut here, I could do the one overhand knot and put it on that. But what I'll have to do now, since it's so long, is just like this. And if you have enough 550 cord, you can let it dangle down and you can hang a pot over the fire. Or put a square knot in another piece of 550 cord and extend it. Now, this is what it looks like. And that is my tripod. <laughs>